Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today is another tea break repair. So this has arrived today, so let's get straight into it. Nice little box here, best time of the year. Debatable, depending on when you're watching this video. So we have an Xbox Series X controller and I bought it from eBay and it looks like a little bit of rage has happened on this one because look at the thumb stick here. So let me show you the eBay listing. It was on an auction and I got it for £27 plus £3.20 postage, so £30 and 20p, which is a fair enough price if it can be fixed cheaply. Let's see what it says. Faulty controller worked as it should till my son dropped it and the joystick popped out and doesn't move when I push it back in. Also, the top seems prized open slightly, so I'm thinking something has moved out of place inside maybe. Original controller that came with the Xbox Series X at Christmas, so will not come with a box, but will be securely packaged. Any questions? please are so a complete honest genuine listing and everything there is completely believable I hope the Sun didn't get too much grief for uh, breaking this because sometimes you know games can make you rage a little bit so tea break repair let's pause the video right now go get yourself a drink come back and let's hopefully get this fixed within the next 10 minutes or so so I want to open it fully up to see if there's any damage around the analog stick so I've got to take these side bits off here now these are fiddly to do just going to use a pry tool to get it started. There we go. It does feel like you're going to break them, but they, they are really very, very strong. So this will uncover two screws here and here. So now I need to do the same on this side. So we have a screw here, 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 and one in the middle here. So you can make a little slit in the middle, or I'm just gonna peel away the tiny little corner bit with some uh, tweezers. And for these screws, I'm using a Torx bit number nine. Right, and now the front will come off and we now have access to this part here. Right, luckily, let me zoom in, that analog stick is not broken. I was expecting to see a broken analog stick. It's not, this has just been forced off it and also it's got slightly misshapen. So let's uh, try to put this back into shape a little bit because this should be nice and round like this one here. I wonder if I was to put that into some boiling water, would it regain its original shape? I think I'm gonna try it. So the kettle's boiled up, what I'm gonna do is put quite a bit of water in there, boiling water, and I'm gonna hold it here and just dunk this part into it. Hopefully, if it doesn't put it back to the original shape, it might make it easier to mold. Now obviously if there's any kids watching this, don't mess around with boiling water. Get your parents to do it. I'm just going to hold that there for a while and uh, oh, my camera's going to get all steamed up. Oh, look at that already. <laughs> it's done it! Just like that! Look at that! It was only in there a few seconds. I didn't think it would work that quickly. Well, look at that. I think that's perfect. Let's go measure it against the other one. So, faulty one, good one. They're exactly the same. Well, that is a right little result, isn't it? 
Okay, I'm gonna uh, pop this back together and see if it's working. I mean, it may have other faults, but I don't think it will. Remember, there wouldn't have been a huge amount of use on this because it hasn't been out for that long. Feel nice? There's a few crumbs and stuff in here. I'm just gonna give it a little wipe over. Now when you screw into plastic, if you go to the left, so anti-clockwise until it clicks, it will follow the same path that it went in before. So listen. There. Yeah, did you hear that click? Listen again. There. And then when you go in, it will go in the same way. Okay. I'm just going to put the sticker back. And these just need to clip back into place. Let's get some batteries, sync it up to the Series X and see if it is all working. Right, I've just tested it on the controller tester app here on the Xbox Series X and it's working absolutely fine. If you look at the left analog stick, which is the one we fixed, you can see 100%, 100%, 100% and 100% and look, there's no drift and it works as an analog stick. Yeah, always goes back to the middle there. So that's fine, right analog stick's fine, triggers are fine, bumpers and every other button as well and uh, share button will come up here. And if I was to hit the, that button there and the sync button, you can see it starts flashing. So it looks like everything is working just fine on this. What a nice little honest buy. I feel slightly sorry for the original seller because if he had the correct screwdrivers, he really could have done this himself very easily. But as far as the fix is concerned, obviously not the most interesting of fixes, but wasn't it nice to weigh the plastic molded itself back together into the uh, original shape again? Remember, I didn't put the rubber cap into the boiling water, just the plastic at the bottom. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe check out my other tea break repairs. Hopefully you might like some of them. Look after yourselves, everyone.